tell you about Dannyville. <laughs> um, just a solitary event. There's nothing like it anywhere else in the world. It's not a UCI race, it's not the world championships, it's not part of some bigger series. It's just one weekend in one place. What makes it special is the people that put it on, that recognized what they had here, invited people to come experience it the last 25 years. And it's a legendary place. It changed the course of my life, this bike race. The reason we're here, it's, it's actually Steven's idea. He thought it'd be neat to have like all three of us being double winners to come to Downeyville and just go ride together. This is a pretty cool deal to get to come back with two guys that dominated this place and just go ride for fun and, and not have a bunch of pressure and just drink beers around the fire and enjoy each other's company. What year did you win? Uh, memory is vague, but the research shows 2009 it was the first time I showed up here with a bicycle. It's been 13 years since you <laughs> won at Downeyville. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I feel old. <laughs> so Adam is, he's just a super talented bike racer guy. He just has this mind to make a bike work really well. That gone to the Olympics in 2008. The next year is when he won Downeyville. He was coming off the Olympics. He was the best American cross-country racer, arguably, at the time. And he came here and he won, and that was like a big deal for him. I remember he was stoked, and I was just super excited to come see this place for myself after that. It's an honor to have won here, and I think it speaks to a person's versatility as a rider, and I've always been really proud of that versatility. What we have here is a 2009 vintage Downeyville Classic first place award seat. Every year the seat's different and this seat has looked different every year since because I've been riding and enjoying it. And it makes me think of Downeyville. There's a lot of parallels between Steve and Adam. These are both guys that are like old school mountain biker type guys. They're both incredibly fit dudes, but they also just have a natural connection with the bike. It's an extension of them that most people will never approach. In 2019, I made it a goal to win Downeyville, which I was able to pull off. Growing up as a little kid, I like always had posters of Adam and Carl, and I saw them as some of the two best U.S. racers. To have my name on the winner's charts with those two and a handful of other top athletes, it's really special. I won 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, five times. I was good at it for a while. This was my place for a little while. You know, as much as some of the locals might have loved it or loathed it, I was kind of king of the county around here for a bit. And it's really cool to be with Steven, who's like that new guy. Like, he's the defending champ. He's the national champion in marathon. That's why he's on this custom red, white, and blue bike. Steve's at the top of his game. It's going to be exciting to see what he can do. So the Downeyville double is to win both the cross country on Saturday and the downhill on Sunday. A lot of people have made a career out of winning one or the other, but to win both is really unique. Only four guys have done it, and Adam, Steven, and I are three of those four. That's a pretty unique situation. I can hardly stay.
coming down to goal being dubbed the All Mountain World Championships is 100% accurate. You've got to have the fitness and the strength and the skill and just kind of the mental fortitude to be able to ride all around in these mountains. All Mountain World Champ, for sure, and I don't think there's another event that could really lay claim to that in the way that Downeyville does. I didn't think I'd ever win here. So like the best win for me was the first time. There were so many guys that had made legends of themselves by their successes here. World Cup downhillers and world champions come here and, and XC guys and, and roadies and like all these people that can flex on some part of the course, but to really bring it all together and to finish the thing intact with your bike in one piece and your body, that takes something else. For me, putting my stamp on this event is like one of the, my proudest moments in bike racing. Winning a World Cup cross country or something? I don't know, I'd probably take Downeyville over that in terms of being a, an American rider from the West Coast. Like this means a lot.